Oh, hey, Chorn. Chorn. That joke's pretty funny, huh? Chorn. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. Chorn! Emberly, I'm in love with Chorn, but it acts like I don't exist. Tiblin, I'm not even really sure that Chorn is into humans, you know? Chorn is sort of like, um, sort of like a monster. Do you see all these beautiful people here? These are, these are all my husbands and wives. Wow. Lucky. Yeah. Back in the old tribe, I had zero husbands and one wife. And that was Schwoopsy, and then she fucking told everyone to eat me. Mom, kids, what did mommy say about bothering mommy while mommy was busy? Don't do it. <laughs> well, that's right. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Claire. Hi. Oh. Hello, Zazzle. I'll be right over here if you need me, okay? Okay. I love you, baby. Mm. I, love I love you so, you so much. much. Any more? You. Bye, mommy. <laughs> Tell you what, limited time offer, today only. You come back and help us, I'll be your wife. Hmm? Zazzle. You like what you see? <laughs> all this can be yours, all night, every night. <sighs> come on. Damn, Zaz. Mm. <laughs> Please don't forget me. Please. I love you, Claire. I love you. Because <laughs> if we do it together, then let's just do it together. Now you and I are together. Let's do it together. Come on, let's do it together. Come on, let's do it together. But they need you as much as me What if I could promise more Than what I gave to you before So when we don't see eye to eye I'll always give your way a try This is the dawn The dawn McDoon, I haven't seen you this pensive in weeks. We make love on occasion. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, we're just messing around, right? No strings attached. Come on, Kalita, no, right? No yeah. strings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, yeah. yeah just, just, right. just messing around. Yeah. <laughs> Making a marriage is hard work, but, but what you and me got going, it's a good thing. Yeah, but I gotta be free to make my own mistakes, Cletus. Find that out for myself. Yeah, you're right. If, if I loved you, I'd let you go. Yep. So you're the other woman, huh? <laughs> what? You must think you're pretty hot stuff because McDoon wants to make you his child bride. <laughs> but let me tell you something, sister. I was here before you, and I'll be here long after you're gone. All you are is me 20 years younger. <laughs> and when McDoon's done messing around with you, He's gonna come straight back to me. <laughs> oh no, you may be a home wrecker, but I'm not. You are gonna marry McDoon, and you are one lucky girl, because he is the most amazing man I have ever met. McDoon! Help! Come on! Oh, I got you! 
got you, please, Joe. Just hold on, me, dude. Before we die, I just want to tell you. Oh, you shut your mouth, Cletus. Uh, everything's going to be just fine. We've gotten out of worse scraps than this. I mean, this can't be the end of the Panda King. Oh, shit, goddammit, goddammit. Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? Okay. Yes, I got a ticket for Deb, and after the show, we're gonna go to your favorite restaurant. Red Lobster! Yeah, I know Deb's a vegetarian, they got fish. <laughs> Vegan? Uh, it's Crab Fest! Alice, you're killing me! Look, she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, okay? Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works. You're either in the smoke club or you're out. <laughs> okay, well then maybe we're out. Come on, Alice, these guys are assholes anyway. Whoa. What's that coming to the club? Now, I, I get that Alice is 18. She's a senior, she's got her own life, but I only get my daughter for one week a month, and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, bring Deb along. We'll all go see the show. And would you believe it? We get there, and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor. Alice? Alice? Oh, thank God. I've never been more happy in my life. Your mother left me and moved you to Clivesdale. What? No, no. Alice, I saw you get on the bus to Clivesdale this morning. What? Got off? Got off? To go see Deb? God damn it, Alice. If Deb jumped off a bridge, would you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know you're scared. What, what, what's wrong with Deb? She's doing what? Alice? Okay, listen to me. You get away from her, you understand? You get far away. No, this has nothing to do with me not liking Deb. Right now, you need to run and hide, okay? Where are you? No, no, you stay there. I'm coming to you. No, no, don't, don't you say... Everything's going to be fine. I love you too. You know, she's a good kid, Paul. She's smart and I respect her choices, but... If we're being honest, I don't like Deb. She's just, she's always on her phone, and I don't know, I just think Alice can do better. Yeah, just sure, Bill. This morning, the knucklehead that I am, I said, why don't you try dating someone at your own high school, in Clivesdale? And she said, you just don't like Deb. And what was I supposed to do, lie? So I said, why don't you try dating someone like Grace Chastity? And she goes, no, Grace Chastity is a nerdy prude. And I said, one, I said date someone like her. Two, that is not a very nice thing to say. And suddenly, I'm defending Grace Chastity of all people. And she says, you just want Grace Chastity to be your daughter. And I say, well, at least she's nice to me at church. <laughs> and I think that fight is why she got off the bus to go see Deb. Oh, God, Paul, I'm the reason they trapped her. It's my fault. No. I'm not your girl anymore I'm not that tween that you drove here for I'm not your girl anymore I overtook her body with an infectious spore You left me out of your sight for one second And look what happens, nightmare time It's worse than you could imagine, not sex and not drugs, just alien invading minds. It's not my fault anymore. No more being worried and waiting by the door. Did you know that I wanted to live with you? Oh, 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 oh. And when you needed to fight, you gave her that too. I'm 
I am a man of might. How can you call yourself a man? <laughs> you got to beat the man. I'm gonna show you what it means to be a man, man. <laughs> This guy is so awesome, but it's never addressed in the song that that this dad may be having this gay affair. It's yeah. just that this guy is awesome. You just it's think awesome. he's and the coolest awesome dude. Song. Uh, uh, there he is. It's my dad's gay lover. There he goes. It's my dad's gay lover. He's gonna take me to Disneyland. It's just like, a, you, this it's guy, like, he's so it's wonderful. Like you're, it's like you're sitting he's outside really like a, He's such a positive. And you see him go by and go, hell yeah! Fuck yeah! Like, yeah. Man, like, <laughs>